Hi there, welcome to Muse to Go. My name is Carrie and I'm going to be your instructor today. Today we are going to be working on a really fun non-traditional materials marbling project. So we are going to be marbling terracotta plant pots using nail polish. <laughs> So don't worry if this kind of mystifies you a little bit. I'm gonna lead you step-by-step step through today's process just like we would for any other Muse class. What you're gonna want for today is a few different types of nail polish colors. And I'm gonna be using three terracotta pots that are pretty small in size. And I'm gonna need a large bucket as well to be able to use as my dunking surface for our marbling project. All right, let's get started. So I have my pots all prepped and ready to go. I went through to make sure that there wasn't any stickers on them. I wiped down the outside with a damp cloth of all of my terracotta pots to make sure there wasn't any dirt so that my surface was really, really clean to get started on. And the first step that we're gonna do is we're going to paint the outsides of our pots white. So you don't need to worry about painting the inside of them. If you'd like to paint the inside lip, you can, uh, but that would be the only thing that would potentially show in your design because you gotta remember that your plant's gonna go on top and on the inside. I'm not gonna paint all the way to the bottom. You can see that there's actually a little indent. This is the foot of your pot. So I'm gonna paint right up and around the foot and leave this part as a natural color underneath. So I have my large brush, I have some white paint, and I'm just gonna go on ahead and give it a nice coat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, once you are done with that first pot, we're gonna go through and do this to the next couple of pots as well. Same idea, we're gonna stop right when we get to that foot so that we have something that can rest pretty easily and not have to worry about the dry time there because we're really focused on just getting that top edge all ready to go. And the white is going to act as a really nice base when we go to marble these pots in a little bit. After one coat, uh, it's looking pretty good. I can tell that there's some inconsistencies in the paint where I can still see some thinner areas through the pot. So what I'm going to do is after both of or all three of my pots have had a chance to dry, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to add another light coat of white paint just to smooth those out. We're going to get so much texture and like really juicy color once we get to the marbling phase of this project. I'm not really worried about anything but starting with a really clean slate with this white paint on our pot to start out. that you're going to need for your project for today for the marbling. So one of the fun things about this project is that you can go through your giant nail polish collection. I know I always have a hundred bottles of nail polish <laughs> laying around. This is a great way to utilize some of them. Uh, you don't need too much polish and if you want to create a set of colors you can just pick out three. I'm actually going to try out three different designs for today. So I've picked out three groupings of three colors. You could do more colors if you wanted to, but I really recommend using the three where we're not working on plant pots that are very large for today. I think it's gonna be great to have three as a nice round number to be able to get a good variety of color without making it look too much like a crazy rainbow mess. <laughs> now, the types of nail polish I'm gonna show you guys it's just stuff that you can get at like a drugstore or like any nail polish aisle, dollar store. Like it doesn't need to be any high quality brand. I actually have like quite a mixture of different types of nail polishes and nail polish bottles that we tried out and all of them look, worked awesome. What you're going to find is that depending on the color, you might have some nail polish that really spreads out really well in the water where some nail polish likes to hold together. It's a little bit of a experiment, but um, once you see that uh, your colors are kind of chosen together, it's really kind of fun to watch how they react once you put them into the water. So I have my really, really bright colors like my peach and my yellow and my sparkles. I have some darker, more jewel tones like my eggplant purple and my really, really royal blue. And then I have my really earthy greens that I might even dash a little bit of yellow into. We'll see how it goes in a moment. 
Now for your container to be dunking this in, you're gonna want a large bucket. And when I say large bucket, I mean, you're gonna want a large bucket. <laughs> And this is so that, you know, any container that you're dipping in, you want to know that it's going to get a little bit of paint in it. So I wouldn't use any of your fine china dishes to be dunking this in. It is a craft project, so you're going to want a container that you're okay with it getting a little messy during our process. It's pretty easy to wipe out once you're done, but do use something keeping that in mind. It needs to be big enough so that you can fill it with water and be able to dunk your pot all the way through so that it's completely submerged. This technique really works best when you can spread out your paint on the top of the surface and then dunk your pot all the way to the bottom and pull it out in one dunk. Otherwise, uh, the temperature of water is something that's really, really important for today. You're gonna want it to be very warm. It doesn't need to be scalding hot, but it should be a little warmer than room temperature at the very minimum and it absolutely should not be cold. Uh, chemistry wise, what's gonna happen is that if your water is too cold when you pour the nail polish on, it actually is gonna dry and kind of adhere directly to the surface of your paint and then it'll make it really hard and when we go to dunk it, you won't get the paint to spread out and make as cool effects. So make sure that you have hot water, not scalding, but hotter than warm, and that you also have a large bucket that you can dunk into and at least three paint colors that you can use for your design for today. So I have my bucket filled with really, really warm water. Remember, you don't want it to be room temperature. You don't want it to be scalding hot, but you definitely don't want it to be cold. So we want it to have a really smooth surface on the top and it to be hot enough that the nail polish won't dry before we have a chance to dip our pot. So. I'm gonna start in with my first color and I'm just gonna try really, really slowly to pour this paint right on the very top of the water. So I'm just gonna start with like a little bit of paint and you can see it's starting to dissipate nicely. I'm starting to get that really, really pretty blue color all throughout. Perfect. Now I'm going to go through and add my secondary color now and I'm going to try and move quickly so I don't need too much time for this paint to start to dry on the surface. And you can see when I add in another color it starts to break up and separate the paint that was already on the surface of the water because it's not going to stick to each other but it will stick to anything that I put into the paint which is great. So my final color is kind of this purpley, nice eggplant color. I'm just trying to spread evenly throughout the entire surface. I'm gonna do a quick little mix with my brush. And I'm gonna go on ahead and now that that's like looking pretty mixed up already. I'm going to take and dip my pot that's all painted white onto the surface. You can see I have this really cool marbled effect that just happened. I'm going to go ahead and dip my other side. And I have a little bit of excess that is kind of drooping off. So I'm just going to roll it and let it stick to the outside. And there you go. So I'm going to go on ahead and go through and kind of clean up my surface a little bit um, so I can try some other colors. So I'm just going to go through with a paper towel and I'm going to dunk that underneath of the surface and kind of scoop up anything and kind of skim off anything that might be on the top. I'm going to go for this really peachy color. I have a bright yellow that I'm going to add in next, kind of a golden rod almost. And then the last one I'm going to add in is kind of this fun sparkly color. So 
So once I've got that in there, I'm gonna do my pot. And this time I'm gonna do one straight dunk in so that I get all of my surfaces covered. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. You can see all around the outside. I got a nice coverage here. Love the yellow on that. One more pot, one more set of colors. So again, last time I'm gonna go through this, I just wanna go through and kind of skim the top Get off any of that excess color from before. It's also a great way to check your water temperature too, just to make sure that it's the right the right temperature and not getting too hot or too cold. Got my green. dark green I'm gonna add in a little bit of this like vintage color as well just for one more green coat Now I don't want to do any more lines and I, what I want to do instead is I'm going to take my yellow color and I'm just going to tap the top and see if I can't get some little dots in here. I'm hoping to get a nice little speckled effect. So I'll add a little bit of variety to my texture. All right, looking good. So I'm gonna take my white plant pot for the last time and I'm gonna dunk it all the way in. So make sure that you have a good place to hold onto it. You know, you're not holding in the middle. You wanna hold right close to the top. Nice, you can see I have my little dots in here, which turned out great. I have a beautiful little section of orange and yellow. And then before I dump out my bucket, I'm just going to go ahead and skim the top. on finishing your first non-conventional materials project. I cannot wait to get these guys planted in my brand new little plant pots. And I just want to thank you guys for joining us for another Muse class for today. So thank you again for joining us for Muse to Go. We hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Bum 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 b